when this intense wall of fire dies down, even in the seemingly lifeless aftermath, the heat continues. We found a widespread warming effect one year after the fire events. In northern forests around the world, new research reveals the larger the fire, the longer those warmer temperatures will stick around. We have like 14 years of data and we do see the residual kind of effects is even last that long, 14 years. Color drives some of that warming. Blackened earth is less reflective of the sun's heat. Canada's boreal forest is vulnerable because of the type of trees. Spruce, fir, pine. As a result, it easily ignites and it can burn quite easily. In these parts of the world, when needled trees burned, researchers found the land warming effect lasted. But in these areas, dominated by more leafy trees with more moisture, fires left little to no residual heat. Deciduous trees, when a fire roars along, if it hits a stand of, say, trembling aspen, it'll actually dwindle down and sometimes even go out. It's more evidence in favor of replanting leafy trees in high-risk areas to break up or stall a fire before it gets too large. But experts warn it's no silver bullet, especially in intense drought like Canada saw last year. When things are extreme, fuel is fuel is fuel. It dries out, it will burn. And um, so it's only a partial solution to me. Still one to consider as climate modeling predicts Canada will see more of these large fires in the future. Anand Ram, CBC News, Toronto.